So before you think it's another one of my clickbaity titles, it's really not. So why do I think it's a good idea to masturbate regularly before coming to the Philippines and meeting your Filipina, if you want to make her pregnant, that is? Well, there's a number of reasons you might want to masturbate regularly. Perhaps you enjoy it. Perhaps you recognise it stops you from ejaculating prematurely. But there's another reason. It's not widely known, but studies were carried out some years ago that found fresh sperm, fresh semen in a male's testicles produces healthier babies and also can make a female pregnant quicker. Now, whether or not that's totally true, who knows, but that's what the studies found. Now, that doesn't mean to say stale semen can't do the job just as well. I'm sure it does, but I just thought I'd give you that tidbit. Now, let's get on to my second point, which is related to the first point, really. When you're meeting your Filipina, be it online on a dating site, or be it you've come to the Philippines and you want to meet someone fresh here, and let's assume she's childbearing age, make sure you want a child, you want a baby, because the odds are she will. She'll want a baby from you. So just be clear on that. You know, some men don't want children. Some men maybe have children from past relationships in their own country. Others maybe feel they're just too old now for all that. So that's why I say be clear, because there's nothing worse than stringing someone along and giving them empty promises. Now, if you meet a Filipina who's not of childbearing age, that's fine, the coast is clear, so to speak. Now, let me give you an example. When I was married to my ex-wife, the Filipina from Cebu, she wanted a baby. And I kept promising year after year, maybe next year, and then next year would come, or maybe next year, and so on and so forth. The reason I didn't give her a baby was because I didn't feel we were in the financial position to do so at that particular time. Now looking back, I'm really glad I didn't have a baby with her because that relationship went kaput. Now, did not giving her ba uh, a baby have anything to do with that? I am sure it had some. There were other issues, but that must have played a part for sure. Which is why I say be clear on what you want and what she wants. Don't string, don't play the Filipina around because it won't end well. That I can tell you for sure. Now, having a baby as you get older ain't easy. I can testify. I have a child who's almost one years old. It's hard work. It's bloody hard work. Let me assure you of that. Plus, the weather is hot here. So the humidity <laughs> makes it tenfold harder. As you will know, or most of you will know, when babies are very, very small, they don't run around or walk around much. They don't put their fingers into things they shouldn't put their fingers into. But as they're reaching toddler stage, yes, you have to have eyes in the back of your head. And once again, you're perhaps not as young as you once were. Now, if you are younger, maybe you're in your 40s, but you just don't want to have a child, for whatever reason, make that clear. And then if she agrees, you have no problem. Perhaps she already has children and doesn't want any more. Problem solved. But just make sure you're clear on that. So going back 
to the fresh sperm in your testicle thing. It kind of makes sense in some way, on some level. Because if you think about it, if your sperm is fresh, it's new, it's newly produced, one would assume the sperm is healthier, it's stronger. And by default, that might produce healthier babies. Now you can look it up on Google if you think I'm just talking BS, I'm not. And see for yourself. I just thought I'd uh, put this into a video. You're not going to hear this anywhere else on YouTube, I know. And Phil likes to be just a little bit different, doesn't he? Anyway, that's all.